now, now, now. Hey, guys. No, oh, this is so nice. Thank well, you guys for coming. Yeah. Welcome to Dab Meet. Uh, show, who's who's uh, first time at Skankfest is it here? And who was here last year? Damn, if we made those two sides fight, I think it's clear who would win. <laughs> the vets would take you motherfuckers out. What'd you just say? The year before. You went. Whoa. 2019. Yeah, I didn't go, so it basically didn't happen. <laughs> I'm sure you guys had a nice time. Whatever. History starts now. <laughs> Damn, this has been nasty. Vegas sucks. <laughs> it was crazy getting off of an airplane and walking into a bus station the size of a city. Are those feather ladies hookers? <laughs> Are they just nice ladies? <laughs> Be careful how you talk about my new girlfriend, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, did anybody, has anybody paid for sex yet? Not yet. <laughs> you offer him? Uh, you mean to, to pay for it or to accept the money? Oh, uh, dude, uh, on a serious note, I've been begging Tim and Ryan Shaner to get into sex work. Don't you think they would clean up? Yeah! Do you think they're like, I mean, just going by my look, do you think there's a big market for children paying to be molested? <laughs> Yeah, you might have to accept Chuck E. Cheese tokens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mister, dude. I'd love to buy your foot video. <laughs> and he sends a bunch of Chuck E. Cheese tokens taped to a fucking letter. <laughs> That's all WhatsApp is. It's 12-year-olds buying foot videos from adult men. <laughs> yeah, you guys have no idea what's coming down the pike from these motherfucking kids. Mm -hmm. They're going to uh, hunt you guys. Kids are going to start killing you guys. Watch. It's, it's probably going to be the kids outside with their hooker moms. <laughs> that was crazy. I watched a, a lady who, uh, she was a dancer on the street. All that like boom box and shit. And then when her shift ended, she just laid down and went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> she danced for six hours straight. Very like... <laughs> Damn, that's and then she got done and she like took off her fairy wings and just laid on a manhole cover. <laughs> Dude, that should be the next minimalism documentary on Netflix. <laughs> I don't even need walls. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was great. Um, oh, dude, I fell off the wagon like 20 minutes ago. Hell yeah, right? I accidentally had my first sip of alcohol in five years. That sucks, dude. You suck, bro. I thought you were cool. No, dude, I'm not. <sighs> yeah, some dickhead put the white claws right next to the liquid death, so I'm pretty fucked up right now. I, in two hours, I will be smoking crack on Fremont Street. <laughs> You're the Cran Raspberry Werewolf, bro. <laughs> I'm going to be begging the feather ladies to lock me up. <laughs> I'm ripping through my denim. <laughs> I saw a lady in uh, a black like bikini fishnets and then a hat that said SWAT on it. Mm. And what she was doing is she was stopping people that were like smoking weed or carrying a, a glass bottle outside. Yeah. And she was blowing a whistle and going, you can't do that. You're not allowed to carry a glass bottle. And then she put like kinky handcuffs on the guy. So she was stopping actual crimes and then trying to abduct guys to turn them into Johns. Dude. <laughs> How crazy is it that she was more effective than any of those youth Aldi cops in that school? <laughs> <laughs> there were 10 prostitutes waiting to suck his dick for over an hour. We heard over 133 cum shots. <laughs> We've edited out the screams of the dude busting. <laughs> Oh, man. Would that have been worse if the guy was actually molesting all the children instead of killing them and the cops uh, waited outside? <laughs> and he just came out, like, drying his hands and buttoning his pants? Was that, is that a worse visual than, than reality? Did I just solve a Hellraiser cube in your mind? <laughs> all right, well, that's one way we could have started this show. Mm -hmm. we, and we tried it, and that's uh, more than some people can uh -huh. say. 
We're going to have a lot of fun, guys. We have a little bit of time together. We have some very special guests that we're going to bring out as we go. And, uh, yeah, buckle yourselves in. Should we bring in our first guy? Before we do that, I feel like a dickhead. Um, I couldn't bring two knives on the plane, so if anybody has two knives, please throw them up here right now. We will need one later for sure. Oh. Is that a knife? Oh, wow. Are you on the clock? We can share. Uh. You know what I love? You know what I love? When a guy in sweatpants extends a knife in a shape I've never seen before. <laughs> what did you buy that for? Work. Work? What do you do? Do you... Oh. You make our microphones work with a knife? <laughs> Man. Multimedia has come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> I actually stab a guy when he stops fixing the microphones. <laughs> Should we start rolling these fucking morons out? Yeah, let's split his knife first and then let's bring everybody out. Okay, I guess we are going to be needing that knife. I'm very sorry. Thank you, sir. What's your name, friend? JJ. JJ, JJ thank, you. thank you. Oh, this is a ton of knives. Oh, yeah. This is, I mean, this is really more of a Leatherman situation. Mm. Yeah. This is my Phillips head knife. Beware, dude. <laughs> Watch the fuck out. I'm going to loosen the brakes on your harrow. Tim, would it be fair to say that they would be screwed? <laughs> now we've really started the show. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to bring out our first guest. Uh, this is... Uh, how do you... How do you I want to explain... The uh, intense connection I have with this fella, having only just met him for the first time last night. This is a this is a very very funny guy who I I like most of my friends I connected with over the internet, and basically his role in my life right now is unexpectedly when I'm at my lowest I'll get a little ray of sunshine in a DM on Instagram from him, and uh, so we finally got to meet last night and I'm excited to hang out with him right now, guys. Please fucking put your hands together for the motherfucking Sam Talent. Hey. Hey. All right. Man, this is a powerful moment for me. Oh, yeah, dude. Jesus, Mike, you reek like booze. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, you souse. Chill out. Your wife's right over there. <laughs> This is cool. I'm glad I'm in the middle. Oh, this is great, man. This is great, yeah. I feel like I had a nightmare, and now I'm sleeping in mom and dad's bed. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is actually a child molesting intervention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you came to the right soft-handed place. <laughs> this is really cool. I, I've never met either of you in real life, but thank you for having me. Yeah, I was so excited to meet you. This, this was the last time that you pulled me out of a spiral. I was at a hardcore music festival and really not feeling it. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty weird watching, like, big belly replacement guitar players with gray beards like playing hard music about how like no one fucking gets it it's like bro come on man you're gonna die of heart disease yeah <laughs> please you don't need to mosh anymore so i i was i was texting you and i said that uh man these these old guys still fucking singing about girlfriends are bumming me out and your response i'm butchering it but your response is like man why don't you why aren't you just happy that you can walk around and breathe and i was like oh. whoa <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, know? dude. You really opened my eyes and put some pep in my step for the rest of that weekend. Well, yeah, you were in a brutal situation, and uh, you needed to be reminded about the fact that you haven't lost a foot to Surge. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like the soda? Yeah. yeah hell yeah. 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 No, the, the, the new street drug everyone's talking about. <laughs> there are a lot of Surge foots out there. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I think they've actually put Surge in the Molly this year, so be careful. <laughs> Hey, what happened? Unfortunately, her leg is doing the do. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to test your surge, guys. All right? They're handing out test kits out there. The, the test you don't kits want to be the... taking mellow yellow on accident. All right? <laughs> if you check in the gift bags, there's actually a fat 12-year-old that'll follow you around and test it for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's just on Heelys being like, let me dude, have a taste. Dude. I had big, fat surge tits when I was a kid. <laughs> I got to be honest, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah. And you know what was really... <laughs> <laughs> Some of these guys have adult onset surge tip. <laughs> yeah. I had Hawaiian punch hooters. That was uh, mine. <laughs> uh, I had sunny double D's. Sunny Come on, yes! <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's why you play the game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, no, like the whole time that you guys have been a thing, like, because the Philadelphia contingency has always been very good to me. And guys were always like, you're going to love Rainy and Butterly. I think Six one time was like, man, you, I can't do the accent. You know? Yeah, you I'll translate it for you. You and uh, Butterly. Like, I, Yo, you and Butterly, you. dude. Yeah. 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 You guys are cool. You're going to get along because you're both smart, but you're not gay about it. <laughs> and he didn't say gay. He said a different word <laughs> with two Gs, and it started with an N. <laughs> so... <laughs> 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 it didn't make sense, but I... My Brian Six? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> and then he ate a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. Dude, even Six's flap rim was like, you sure, dude? <laughs> dude, Sam, I gotta be honest with you. I yeah. think, like, I, I'm falling in love with you quickly for a number of reasons, but one of which is you look so much like my father that it scares me. Oh, brutal. <laughs> How old are you? 43. I'm 35. <laughs> I thought this was a nice guy positive show, Dude, Mike. You have no idea what cum is doing these days. <laughs> I look like daddy? A little bit, yeah. Oh, that's great, man. I, I feel like somebody put cum in a fuck's capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow made say my dad, even though he's younger than me. Is your mom doable? Not was. now, no. Yeah. But, dude, I remember going to see her. My mom used to work at a cheesesteak place, and they used to have to wear <laughs> royal blue pants. And the first time I remember thinking, sexualizing a woman was seeing how fat my mom's ass was in these blue pants. Whoa. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> how big is your mom's butt? Thank yeah. you, Michael. Yeah. Uh, big Whoa. enough to get a black guy to turn his car around. <laughs> <laughs> and a Chinese guy to crash his helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do the voice. <laughs> We're all thinking the voice. Don't do it. That's actually the real reason why Kobe died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your mom's giant dump truck. <laughs> yeah. Walking through the mountains. Yep. <laughs> Your mom was on the one hike she's ever been on. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> Is your father alive? They both are, yeah. That's great. Yeah, they're hanging tough. Cool. My dad's uh, going to a mushroom retreat in Mexico right oh, now. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Because my mom died, and it's time for him to let that ponytail out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on a groove back mission. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the sisterhood of the traveling cutoff cargo show. <laughs> <laughs> the pockets are ruined if you cut off the cargos. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Are you worried he's going to come back and he's like, oh, actually, the natives have a word for what you're experiencing. <laughs> uh, I just want him to come back. <laughs> he's going down there with a guy named Steve Schrader who uh, used to play bass in his band. And they haven't hung out since, like, 1982. Oh, it's time to get the band back together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sludge is going to do some oh, shows in Tijuana, God, dude. <laughs> my dad's in a new band called Martyrs, which Whoa. is a fucking sick name for a bunch of old dudes who play, like you know, Jackson Brown covers. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, we're Legacy of Brutality, and this one's a Steely Dan number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are, are Skull Fuck. And here's Carmelita. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think your dad was cool when you were younger, watching him do all that? Fuck yeah, my dad rips, dude. Nice, dude. Yeah, he's number one. My dad, uh, one time my... <laughs> one time... I heard an argument downstairs very early on a, a Friday morning, and I come down, and my dad and my mom are screaming in the kitchen, and he's like, the tour is having amateurs in Tucson. I gotta get there. And my mom's like, Dave, you can't quit your job to become an ultimate Frisbee player. <laughs> <laughs> he was like fucking 48 years old. <laughs> it's like, Dave, you gotta give up the ghost on this, man. <laughs> Just I play actually... for Rolf like everyone else. <laughs> yeah, he thought he was going to go down there. And Wait, Ultimate's qualify. the athletic one on like a football field. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, I thought you were talking about Froff. No, no, Froff's easy. Anyone Dude. can go pro in Froff. <laughs> Imagine if your dad got his fucking coccyx obliterated playing Ultimate. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> Trying out for the Arizona fucking pro-am. I Dude. think he was just going to go down and like, yeah, try and join some like ragtag bunch. And my mom was screaming at him, and he like went downstairs and locked the door in his drum room and put on Pink Floyd really loud, and then started slamming around on the drums. <laughs> he was a cool guy. He was cool. Dude, 
There's a guy here at Skankfest. Um, I haven't met him yet, but he messaged me to say that he was playing disc golf recently in Philly, and um, there was a guy in the distance, and he kept yelling because he's like, look, buddy, if you don't move, I'm going to hit you. And eventually he walked towards the guy, and it turns out the guy was hanging from a tree. That's the ninth hole. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, right on the ropes. Whoa. <laughs> He was playing for Alf in the fucking Suicide Forest? <laughs> That's good content. <laughs> Whoa. I just thought it was Halloween themed for October. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, imagine being out, because like, when I go play Frisbee Golf, usually I'm like high or a little bit gassed on uh, like mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And you're just having a pleasant day in the park, and mm -hmm. then you fucking see a guy doing the only brave thing. Yeah. <laughs> Suicide's the only brave thing we can do in this life. Yeah, that, that motherfucker just created the Tiger Woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, if you say, say that to him? I guess so, man, if you chose right? to. <laughs> sure. Hey, look, I'll take over. All, All right, right, thanks. <laughs> I'll put the fucking reins on this character. <laughs> you goddamn booze bag. <laughs> Chill out, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, I went into the woods on mushrooms one time and I watched a deer kill itself. Whoa. Gunshot? <laughs> <laughs> he put his nose in the end of the rifle. <laughs> yeah, he slowly drowned himself, and I was on mushrooms just frozen in place. I was like, someone has to witness this so that this dude can complete his life cycle. Oh, come on, dude. That's in the air tonight. You're fucking making this up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look up chronic wasting syndrome. syndrome. It turns deers into zombies and yeah, then they drown themselves. It's very weird. And I stood on the ridge, edge of like a creek while people walked by me. I was just like, are you guys seriously not going to take this in? Did you think about throwing something out there to try to reel him in? I did try to, I tried to startle him out of it. Like, come on, man, you got so much to live for. I threw some sticks. But then it just looked like a, a crazy high guy throwing shit at a dying deer. <laughs> <laughs> deer uh, were like a very pervasive threat to my mom's rose bushes. So like after she had her stroke, she would just sit outside. Kept robbing them. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. She had a mojito and a BB gun and she would just shoot deer all day. It's like, well, she's, you know, she doesn't know numbers anymore. She should have a little fun with the deer. That sounds like Ted Nugent's day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My mom had cat scratch fever. <laughs> yeah, she, she didn't have a stroke. She had wango tango. <laughs> My mom, after her stroke, whenever Chinese people or Asian people would walk by, she would go... <laughs> like, it totally melted her brain. <laughs> And she would just see Asian people and she'd go. <laughs> it's like, all right, mom. <laughs> I, can, I can sympathize. Okay, if I got normalized today and they erased Asian people from my brain, <laughs> the first time I saw one. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck what is the that? hell? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she saw a Filipino and had another stroke. <laughs> Why is that guy squatting like that? Yeah. How many cigarettes is he going to smoke over that barrel? <laughs> How many fish heads does this guy need? That's enough, Mike. <laughs> oh, congratulations on your book, Mike. Oh, thank you very That's much. Cool. Wow. Your third book. To come to you. Third book, man. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you so much, Ed. Yeah. Honestly, uh, by tonight, I may be going back on Perks. So there's going to be a part two. <laughs> no, but it, it overwhelms me that, that so many of you guys bought it. And uh, because of that, uh, I'm able to buy my wife a Sibian. So, <laughs> well, so, that guy jumped up and down. <laughs> it's always been a dream of mine to give my wife a sexual stroke, which is what the Sibian is. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. I guarantee you there's a guy handing out business cards here that makes custom Sibians, too. Yeah. <laughs> They're all my cock. <laughs> Tim, did you know they make uh, like an off-brand Sibian? <laughs> Go on. It's I think it's called like the Jackrabbit or something like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And what's the what's the community think of this thing? I don't know what the community thinks, but I believe the incentive is that it's maybe like a hundred dollars cheaper than regular Sibian. Damn, patent wow. theft has gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> Inflation has finally hit my wife's pussy. <laughs> Inflation is causing yeah. more inflation in husbands. <laughs> I can't afford a condo in there anymore. Saber, are you a, a sex toy guy? Uh, I mean, I, I enjoy lovemaking, but... <laughs> nice. I, I've used a cock ring. 
Oh, nice. Really? Yeah, the guy loved it. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because, you know, sometimes you come home dehydrated and you still want to mm-hmm. give your life the best you can. And I'll put on the old cock ring and get in there and do like a lunch pail job, you know? <laughs> clock in, clock out. Yeah, yeah. Cock uh, in, cock out. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yes, dude. Cock ring is actually how I proposed to my wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. So the cock ring actually works. It actually yeah, pumps you it keeps up. Yeah, it keeps you engorged. Do you put the... Do you it's put like the, the referee's hand, hand, like the third time he tries to lift Oakster's hand up. Yeah, yeah. And then the third time, you're just like right. this. Yeah. And also, you can choke up on the bat, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, like, move yeah. it up. Yeah. And then you got, like, a bulbous clown yeah. nose. <laughs> and you're like, I know it's not that long, but it is weird right yeah. now. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. This is a two-strike pitch. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, I, I would say the cock ring school. I'll get out the little uh, the little stick and do it on my wife's the GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Checking okay. for coins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can metal detector. <laughs> well, your Nuba ring is out. <laughs> I, I found an IED in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, dude. I love making my wife... Uh, Gaz, as the kids say, <laughs> but usually that's a job for the uh, the mouth. Mm, yeah, I'm not. I've never really. I've made her blast three times in our entire courtship with that's my peen. Good. With my peen. Yeah. But with the mouth, it's a fucking lock. Mm-hmm. It's minus six hundred with the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's tough stuff. Uh, penetrating a woman and then making her deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they got it so easy. We got to get hard, and they just fucking lick their fingers, and all of a sudden they got fried gold. Yeah. You guys got it fucking easy. You can just lay back and think about, you know, Minute Bowl or whoever. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm on top of you. (sighs) Arm shaking. Have you guys ever been about to come so fast that you have to pretend something's wrong to stop? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. you're like, oh, I left the, I left the oven yeah. on. I'll be right back. <laughs> is that, is a, that a car accident? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought it was our car. My bad. Where were we? Well, I got to get hard again. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought I heard a cop kneeling on George Floyd's neck. <laughs> those, by the way, those pumps from before still count toward the total, just so you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a tough job. You, you got to pull cum pranks if you're going to save yourself the fucking embarrassment of busting upon insertion. Yeah. Like what? Pull a quarter from behind her ear. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your cum? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. The pulled hamstring's a big one. Mm-hmm. Pretending like you hear babies crying. You gotta have babies, though. Don't have those. <laughs> you could have a ghost baby, though. That would be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Haunted house. You pull out... You end a coitus with your wife because you think your house is haunted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You might not ever have to come again after that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to... I, uh, well, the first time I ever went to perform the act with a woman was in a barn in rural Colorado. And uh, as I was pulling out my ween, I blasted all over a bale of hay. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sam, this sounds like more of a harlot's web. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's still spelled some pig. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was like, that'll do, pig. <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity. Do we have... Or, can I see over there? Okay, yeah. We've got, we've got at least one. Okay, this is the perfect topic to bring out our next friend. And uh, is six with you? Just you? Okay. I, yeah, I smell. Guys, this is this is a world exclusive. Lights. <laughs> this was. <laughs> we were supposed to do more with this, but unfortunately, we've had to change. the The situation on the ground is is amorphous and liquid. And instead of finding someone to fuck gay blind Mike, instead, right now, we were about to have. What was it? Fifteen minutes ago, you got your bird sucked for the first time. <laughs> Guys, give it up for gay blind Mike. Come here. Mike, yeah. y'all. You're the man, Mike. Sit down, Michael. Why can't we still do this contest? Because you're getting greedy. That's why. <laughs> you're getting <laughs> pussy greedy. Now, for, so the first time, it's, oh, it's so cute, dude. Let's get Mike a little bit of pussy. It won't take long. Lady won't have to go that far out of her way. Now you're about to take a second lady, and the other guys are going like, all right, dude, save some for the rest of us. Ah, uh, no, I share. Uh, sharing is caring, dude. <laughs> 
Look at him. He's got a goatee coming in already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, dude. Come on, please. <laughs> dude. Dude. Absolutely no pussy bagging on Dabby, brother. <laughs> Tim, he's showing his belly. Give him some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> So, you finally got your meat sucked. Initial thoughts? Uh, it, it was really nice to get my meat sucked by Troy Palomalo, but I think <laughs> I fucking... I think I need something else. I think I need a second run to really figure it out. <laughs> get this guy a terrible towel. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was cool when the Redskins logo really gave me that head, but like... Oh can I get God. can I get a second run, please? <laughs> oh, wild dude. oh yeah, babe, you're one of the best free safeties of all time. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, slow down. Okay. More pussies coming. I guarantee you some point in your life. I'm talking about what just happened to you, dude. You had a profound experience. <laughs> You, you got so? your bird chomped on while a room full of dudes screamed for you. Yeah? That's winning the Super Bowl on your way to the moon. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a peak experience. Most 99% of men will never even approach in their life. What? And you're like, yeah, she's a fucking pig. I'll like to try again, I guess. <laughs> it's just voyeurism, dude. It's like voyeurism, you know what I mean? It's like... like uh, it's it's OnlyFans, basically. It's just real life OnlyFans. Yeah, but you had your penis in someone's mouth. Uh, so? So? Yeah, when you when you go, it's just OnlyFans. You're making fun of the dudes paying for OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah you, got you were the guy that they were paying to look at get his bird sucked. Next week, guys, starting my OnlyFans. Oh my god! It's like you discovered the Sphinx, and you're like, it doesn't have a nose. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Who made this shit? Yeah. <laughs> Why'd they put it out here? There's fucking sand everywhere, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that puzzling monument's gay. <laughs> Come on, dude. I gave it a college try. Did You You got hard for it. No. Ooh. Oh. No. Soft Michael. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need blue chew, dude. Gee whiz. Wow, man. Well, can he borrow Am your I, Does ring? that make me gay? I want to know. Does that make me gay? No. Well, I think what would help is if you described as intricately as possible her method of suck. Yeah. Uh, when she put her, her warm mouth on your probably clammy penis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your unfried <laughs> calamari. Moist handshake. <laughs> okay. It was a moist handshake? Oh, dude, she, feel, like, it, here's the thing. It was like she went too far down the base. You ever get that? <laughs> you ever get the mic? <laughs> I need more ahead, dude. I need it by the head, dude. How do you don't know what you need? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Who's getting sucked off here, t Sam? You have no idea what you need right now. What you need is a stern talking to. <laughs> I need a nut, bro. That's what you need. I need a nut. God damn it, Mike. Dude. Mike, Michael, go to Troy Palomalo's room right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. So she goes, let me just get on that gunk down to the bottom. And you go, whoa, I don't know about all that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Tim, Tim, you know me well. I'm a nice guy. So, like, I'm like, yeah, just uh, a little up, uh, you know. Like, I was just like, yeah, can you just. No, 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 no. Dude, you have to get your dick sucked like 500 times before you start going like, no, I don't like that so much. Yeah. Well, I okay. haven't even hit it yet. I haven't even, my punch card isn't even at ask for specific stuff. Yeah. And I've been married for 15 years. Like, you can't talk to her like you're talking to your barber. Like, a little off the top. <laughs> well, I tried, Mike. I tried. You know what? I said a little off the top, you know. Can you just trim up the sides? Now, what would you like, Mike? What would your ideal blowjob seem like? He doesn't uh, know. He's a first-time sailor trying to navigate by the stars. <laughs> He's like, fuck maps, I don't need that. Can you just get your lips up and down on my head, dude? <laughs> oh. oh, I got it. <laughs> oh. That's all I asked for. <laughs> oh, Michael. Br br bro. <laughs> it felt good, but I did not. It sounds pretty good to me. 
yeah. I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't nut. I, I couldn't get hard. I don't understand. It's a lot of pressure, pal. This is what porn alone. does to young men's minds. Honestly, this is what they're worried yeah. about. Is you you were like the second she started sucking, you were like, oh, can we maybe do standing sixty nine? Right. <laughs> it wasn't even that. Here, let me try to make you squirt real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I all right. So. <laughs> Hate on the squirt, dude. <laughs> all right, look. It's not pee, dude. <laughs> look, look, all right, look. If squirt is pee, call me Barry Girls. That's all I gotta say. I'm sorry. Was that supposed to be the name Bear Grills? Yes. Because Bear Grills drank urine on his show. That's that's the <laughs> Thanks, humorous Sam. intent of Mike Thanks. over there. Well, he also kind of pronounced it Barry Girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you mean the number one piss pig in Kansas City? <laughs> Barry Gargles? <laughs> He's a blue ribbon piss pig. Yeah. <laughs> you mean the man trough? <laughs> yeah. He actually opened for Gallagher for 15 years. Never on stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mike, but you, you didn't blast, correct? No, so I tried every position, dude. I tried missionary, I tried doggy, she tried Wait, you went back to... Hold on, okay. So so after she starts talking to your dick on stage, you go back to her room to attempt inter- intercourse? Yes. Whoa. This is news. Oh, it is? Hold on, I'm hearing from Gay Blind Mike. <laughs> Hot off the wire. <laughs> Sensitive viewers, please leave the room. Gay Blind Mike, you went back to her room to fog. Oh, yeah, baby boys. Whoa. Mm. Okay. How far was the walk? <laughs> I mean, it was, it was decent. It yeah. was about, I mean, about as close as the, where I'm staying. So it, I, Well, no one knows where you're staying, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 like like two blocks. It was like two. Blocks. Like two blocks. There we go. Okay, yeah. so two block walk. So even if you were hard, it's completely gone. What? Well, yeah. No, but we tried so many times in the bedroom. Did you to kiss her? Hard. No. You didn't kiss her. <laughs> what am I? Gay? Sorry. Hold on. Sorry, Just changed my I mind. You, I'm sorry. You didn't try to kiss her, pimp. <laughs> I'm not gay, dude. You didn't smooch at all? <laughs> no, because again, she looks like the dude from Moana. <laughs> You're blind! <laughs> You've been gifted with permanent shallow howl. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Much like, bitch, I'm probably amorous, you probably need you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Mike. This I'm not is kissing crazy, Moana, dude. Crazy, dude. This is crazy. I couldn't get hard. I tried, like, all right, so I did get hard, but then as soon as I would stick it in her, it would get soft. I don't know why. Yeah, that's her fault for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't You should never her look fault, a gift Sam. whore in the mouth, all right? <laughs> I didn't say it was her fault. Maybe I'm gay, but I couldn't get it hard. No, no. And no. he's also holding the mic like a rapper. He's like, yo, maybe I'm gay. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's why I didn't get hard with this girl I tried to have sex with. Hey, me and Crack Amigo, baby boy. <laughs> Whew, dude. Now you're besmirching Crack Amigo? No, I'm, don't I'm pull, saying don't me pull and him, him are the gang, dude. You're just lashing out at everyone. Man. What are you talking about? Well, okay, here, here's an idea. <laughs> what if we take a couple steps back, and instead of finding a lady to have sex with Blind Mike, we find a lady to kiss him? Sure, that'd be huge. A little okay. bit more wholesome. Tim, I think we should go even further back. Mike, if you're willing to go on an actual date and dinner with a woman, I'll pay for dinner. Really? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Is there a lady here who would mind kissing blind Mike for us? Isn't it better than sucking his dick? No, no, no. You can suck my dick. It's okay. Hey, Tim, Michael, please, dude. If my wife walks up behind me, fucking step. <laughs> <laughs> For the, let the record show I'm not against dick sucking. What? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, blind people are like well-known great love makers. She said, all right, so she did say my dick wasn't bad. The highest of compliments. <laughs> She's like, I had a fucking pool cue in my pussy last night. This is great. Can I hold that? I can't believe all that nasty shit you said about her. And she was like, your dick's all right. That's crazy, dude. I couldn't get hard. I did. All right, she's a nice girl. She's a nice lady. 
I hope she's not here. Are you she's, here? No. She's back at the halfway house. <laughs> <laughs> she had to put no. her wings back on and dance on Fremont Street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's nice. She's nice. It's just uh, maybe not my type. That's all. Oh. Yeah, that's understandable. Okay. Can I hold the knife? Absolutely not. No. You didn't Absolutely earn it, not. Mike. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> What are you, nuts? What, are you going to try to drive my car next? <laughs> Give a blind guy a knife. <laughs> I'll drive your car today, dude. Mike. Mike, you're bringing a blind guy to a knife fight, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Would it be fair to say? Dude. Whoa. Uh-oh. Isn't that oh, sick? Oh, no. Watch out. Did I, ever t- did, did I ever tell you my dad uh, used to sell the? Ooh, so kind of, it still does, kind of, but like he he sells knives like that. Leathermans. I don't know. Does specific- he work at Sears? No, no, no. My dad sells karate equipment, and one of his karate equipment gear was like uh, like throwing knives and fucking. Your dad sells karate butter, equipment. Butter, butterfly knives. Why well, is Is he a martial on- artist? No, he works for the government. But he's a ponytail guy. Off. No. He's he with my dad in Mexico right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dad, Steve Schrader. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I got all my butterfly knives from my dad, dude. You have a butterfly knife collection? I used to. And oh. you can't come? <laughs> Mike, you just got to think of pussy as like the ultimate board to be broken. Mike, I already got pussy. <laughs> it does not count, dude. It does not count until you bust. That's yeah, yeah. A pussy, really? Dude. Yeah, so the contract's that, not is that, is that or is that not the rule? It does not count until you yeah. bust. So can I ask you, does that make me gay? No. Yes. Am I gay now? Yes. No, no, you're the straightest man alive, Mike. Yes. You're dangerously straight. You're, you're to the point of straightness where you're like, that pig couldn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> that pussy honked. Who cares? <laughs> I'm going to get my switch. <laughs> Light switch, gang. Yo, um, is Six here? I want to hear his opinion. Did Six come in? Oh, yeah. You want Six to weigh in on this? Yeah, Brian Six, come get up here, Six. Come help us break this down. Six. Beezer's entrance music is Marble Light, Light Smoke. <laughs> Dude, I need to know, am I gay now? You're super gay. Uh, no, don't tell him that. You got your dick sucked. On a podcast, and you you went back and you couldn't close. I closed. I just didn't. No, get you the job. didn't. I just didn't no. get the job done. I got her back to her place, dude. That's closing. And your good. wallet's gone. You wish, dude. Yeah, that bitch robbed him. <laughs> you wish, dude. I do wish. Why wouldn't I wish that? That'd be amazing. Yeah. What if this escalates to the point? Why kids get robbed? Yeah, because it yeah, didn't happen. That's why you wish it. What if this to where Blind Mike knocks bees around and then rapes him? Dude. Yes. Never. It's like that I dream I sick. keep having. I would, I would do it. It'd be better than the sir. fights outside. I'll tell you that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, Dylan's the main event. <laughs> well, Mike, I think you've really stepped in dog shit several times up here. Wait, I, th- wait, wait, I thought wait, we were why? gonna have a redemption story where like it didn't work out the first time, and then we found a way to like rally together and find the ultimate slut to. I think we still have a chance. No, dude, I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> Girls out there, who who's with the blind roof? Who who out here? <laughs> who wants to suck? Why do you why do you talk like that, dude? <laughs> He's blind. Don't be, don't be an <laughs> I'm just I, shut up. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Mike, I don't know if I could come if I had 150 backyard wrestlers watching. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like the ref. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's the, the little brother that they do all like the big moves on yeah, so they can yeah. actually lift you him. You are blind, Spike Dunkley, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they just you're okay, you you're okay. <laughs> This is 3D or this. Bro, I was, up until this moment, I was certain you were going to bust with a lady this weekend. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't have come with her? No. <laughs> Beezer, it wasn't tea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It wasn't, what? Oh, it you wasn't like it was tea that they were sharing. I know. <laughs> yeah. So you went back, this girl put her mouth on your dick. Yes, but also, she didn't, I mean, all did right. Did you try doggy? Like that, LL. Put your fucking. <laughs> Look. Did you try doggy? The mic's not blind. <laughs> 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 
I don't know. I like I don't know how to fuck, dude. I don't have any moves in the bedroom. So like she you don't just say. she wanted me to do all the work and I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to. Wait she a minute, just, wait a minute. Did you say she wanted you to work? No, no. She was like, yeah, you just like like you know like, fuck me and I. <laughs> he didn't put his boot it. on her head. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> he throw it back into me. He threw I, don't know, I don't know why I'm not getting hard. Throw it back into me. <laughs> you like that? I wear the vest. <laughs> no, she's a nice girl. <laughs> Who was this? Who was this angel? Just, just some Skankfest fan. But she's nice. Is she back here? No. Uh, I don't know. No, she get... probably got an early flight. <laughs> Did you kill her, Michael? <laughs> no, I bought her a cheesesteak, dude. Whoa! Nice. A what? Gentleman. I'm a, ge- I'm a gentleman. Dude. Yeah. I'm a Philly What'd gentleman. What'd you buy her? A cheesesteak. From where? The, the, the place right, like, right down there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but look. Okay, so to, to finish up what I was saying before. So, like, I don't... Yeah, I finish don't, it up. I don't have any moves. Hey, Mike, finish for once today, moves. all right? <laughs> Samuel... <laughs> You what? motherfucker. Well, I want the man to hey, blast. Hey, let's get eyes on the kid when he's holding a knife. Damn, this girl wanted a jizz wit and he gave her a whiz wit. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that there might be some kind of like undiscovered virtuoso talent. Like the first time Ray Charles touched a piano. Yeah. Like you could have unlocked something you didn't know about yourself. Yeah. Mike, did no. you try jumping off the top bunk into the pussy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I wish I knew moves like that. I, you but like I you didn't, and I tried. I tried humping on it, and it didn't. Oh, on I'm it. sorry. It did didn't you just say you tried humping on it? Are you a 90s R&B song? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Why, <Blind> retard? <laughs> tried can I, on it? Can I show you what Shut I did? The fuck up, dude. Please tell me and say that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hump on it. Show us your moves, Mike. I, I mean, all right, so... Please, Mike. show us how you humped on it. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mike, show the crowd how you humped on her. So she told me to put it in, right? She told you to put it in. I had to get hard. I had to get hard several times after she sucked my dick. And then once I was hard, when she sucked my dick, this once is what I did. Once you were hard? Yeah. Yeah. Like you were trying to kickstart oh, an old comes. Honda? Can we get some music? You got R. Kelly? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> wait, wait, do that again. Do that again. Why are your fingers feeling... Pretty good. What the fuck? Do not stop for the rest of the show. (laughs) He's touching all the walls with the pussy. That's the right move. (laughs) It felt good. I just couldn't bust. I don't know why. Tim, can you explain this? That table got me. (laughs) No, I can't explain why you didn't bust. I can't even put myself in that mental headspace. I did like your wizard hands, though. (laughs) You're casting a spell on your wiener. (laughs) You're like, yeah, girl. I I do actually, I I did like that stroke. That was a pretty good stroke. However, I don't think I did it that well in the bedroom, to be honest. I know you didn't. Mike, why do you tell these people reality? Yeah, show show them. Like a Lego idiot. Show them the, the spaz Lego, jackhammer dude. that you actually yeah, did. I didn't jack. That's a problem. I couldn't even jack. Circle, because dude. as soon as I got it in, I got soft. I don't know why. Maybe I'm gay. I don't know. Dude, dude. I, gu- it, I guarantee it looked exactly like Ren sitting on Stimpy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, dude. I feel. Ew. <laughs> it's like the baby bird that <laughs> cleans the hippo's <laughs> teeth. <laughs> And she was like, oh. yeah. Yeah. Did you get the beans above the frank? <laughs> I don't wow. know what that means. Dude, but Mike, you came back and your balls were in your zipper. I'd lose Mike, my mind. The good news is you will at some point get a second shot at redemption. Oh, yeah. So I, just keep that in mind and don't get too down on yourself. I don't know, dude. Also, I feel like I'm gay now. these rusted out hoes. <laughs> Mike, does this, does this make me gay, dude? If you're gay, oh, tear up shit. some poor soul's asshole. <laughs> yeah, stop asking us for permission to suck a guy's <laughs> dick. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. I don't want to suck dick. Well, you might have to. I mean, you have to reciprocate, dude. Don't lie, dude. Come on, man. Mike, I promise you that when you start getting pussy that's not podcast related, it will get easier. <laughs> you don't want the pressure of a podcast on you. Yeah. I think you're just having a physiological response to a lot of stress, man. It's a very stressful first time. Here, take my cock ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mike, you've sincerely dried out and bummed out every woman in this theater. <laughs> I you thought you, you said we were doing a dating game, Tim. 
Well, I, again, dude, you, you I, and I know Ralph's mad at you because you ruined his bit as well. But bro, you jumped the gun, you got <laughs> greedy, and then you pussy begged, and now it's. I didn't I mean, get greedy. Yo, Ralph's gonna fire you. I was trying to fucking no, follow you, my boss's orders. My you, boss told me to get <laughs> pussy. So. You're goddamn right. I ordered the load red. <laughs> 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 Who's your boss? Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want, but Lewis is my boss. Gomez yeah. and Sutton. I'm going to do what he says. The crowd left like three minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm just telling the truth. I'll go in the street right now with a girl with feathers in her hair. I'll say what I need to say. Hey, this is the truth. Shut up. All right, it's time for us to... <laughs> It's time to talk you know what? Tough. You're an idiot. It's Guys, it's, it's time for, for us to say goodnight to gay blind Mike and tuck him in for the night. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Don't go far. Hang in the back. Thank you. We'll be back. Give it up for gay blind Mike, guys. I mean... Right. Mike. You're going to be all right. Please, God, dude. Bless his oh, weird go. meat. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. Oh, dude. I was watching it, too. You motherfuckers were watching it. You're like, he's going to fall the fuck off this stage. I was like, yes, dude. <laughs> Look. He falls on his dick and comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I needed. That shit. That fresh miracle. I'm not gay anymore. <laughs> I made. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have one more very special guest to bring out. It's the woman who sucked mine. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't shit. He don't know what he's talking about. Dude, she came out completely fired up about yeah. how she sucked him good. She's like, I was so wet. <laughs> We so have one more. To fuck that boy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing. Are we sure he's 18? No. No. Dude. He's like 11. That's why the Puerto Ricans is boss. <laughs> <laughs> Not the rich Jew. Dude, he's, 11's like 33 in Puerto Rican years. So yeah. you're good, Mike. And 42 yeah, in years. That's like years. 38, dude. All right, we have one more very spe special guest we want to bring out. Uh, if you guys were here last year and you, you came and had some fun with us while we recorded Dab Meat, uh, you'll know that I think we kind of created the highlight of the entire weekend. And it was all because of this guy. Guys, please give it up for the fucking man, Colin Terrell. Hey. Thanks for coming back, man. What's up? But it, 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 it was almost sad watching Blind Mike turn into such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, earlier he was a, a beloved cripple, and now he's just like, he, he gets a little bit of pussy, he's like, yo, some pig, some fucking... You know what I'm talking about, brothers. He had, he had his shirt, he had his collar fucking popped, he was yeah. flipping a coin and not catching it. <laughs> <laughs> you know how sometimes girls don't suck your dick that good? <laughs> he goes, I ghosted her, I ghosted her. Also, could you, you know what I'm saying, right, Colm? <laughs> <laughs> also, could you... Suck your dick. Could you imagine being that girl and, and yeah. have him touch your face and then go, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine that nose to uh, nose oh, with you? Could you maybe turn around for this? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reading ugly. I'm reading ugly. <laughs> he puts paper bags over his hands. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen someone just squander that much goodwill that quickly, man. The only likable guy at Skankfest. He, everyone loved him. Yeah. And he, and he, and he kept going, I don't know. Hell man, no, I didn't gay. kiss her, man. I'm not a fucking gay. Yeah. So for Nook. <laughs> Colin, you kind of look like the evolution of Mike. You're like Ooh. tough Mike. Yeah, yeah. You're like second pussy Mike. Yeah. <laughs> when he comes, he Can does I get have some... an Irish accent. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, hey. Can I get some sympathy, pussy? <laughs> Being Irish is kind of retarded, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to fuck this island refugee? <laughs> he came to this country to blast. <laughs> The pussy famine wiped out generations of his people. <laughs> Don't joke about the pussy famine, bro. No, no. <laughs> 
sing we sing songs about the pussy Dude, farmers. Just Irish pussy farmers, like it was a damn shame what happened yeah. to them. <laughs> pussy farm dried up. <laughs> Five million men. <laughs> It's all the queen's fault. <laughs> hey, well, fuck the queen, dude. Yeah. Yes, dude. Hell yeah. Up the rod, bro. Yeah, up the rod, dude. Let's snap next. Oh, man. <laughs> fuck. This yeah. Is, well, so, I, hey, you guys are lucky. Look at this lineup. Give it up for all these legends, dude. Genuinely, I'm a fan of everyone on this stage. Even six. <laughs> I mean that. I know. You get to talk like that since you bombed on Fallon. <laughs> oh! Boys, this is not no, that kind of podcast. Him, I'm very proud of Colm for that. Give it up for Colm getting pounds. Yeah, bro. Hey, no, no, no. Seriously, it's fine. Such. Remember how we were nobodies even here last year? Yeah. yeah. And now we're and still kind of nobodies. Your mouth. Oh, how, how yeah. things have changed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bought this shirt. Wait, is yeah. that guy back here this year? Remember that guy with the huge dick who put it through Goodwin's mouth? <laughs> oh, yeah. His dick was huge. I thought it was. Big. Is that guy's dick here this year? No. Yeah. I thought it was by Mike's arm. The best. Oh so last year I put my dick through Lewis's we poster. S- yeah. yeah you oh, all right. <laughs> and but then someone else with a massive dick put it through Robbie Goodwin's poster's mouth, and then everyone was tagging me in it, and I. Yeah. And I I didn't feel the need to correct anyone. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 that's definitely my big black dick. <laughs> Call him eventually Robbie's father took credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this year I think I want I want to see way more people anonymously posting their meat through holes in posters' mouths. It is the funniest thing you can do. Why wouldn't you? Posters are gay, dude. Put a dick through them. <laughs> <laughs> nice weird. boss, blind Mike. <laughs> I will put a dick in it. <laughs> Beasley yeah. is also the CEO of Spencer's Gifts. <laughs> I wish. You're talking real money, Michael. Yeah, we got to double down on Peter Griffin hoodies. Oh, First off, you guys dead. like black lights? <laughs> yeah. Actually, your dad going down to just show up for tryouts. He's trying to be a walk-on for Ultimate Frisbee. Mm-hmm. Six did the same thing with the Philadelphia Flyers. <laughs> That's true. I was a good child. I did not get on. No I've shit. I never played organized hockey. I was like, these motherfuckers need a left winger. <laughs> Brian, did you even get on the ice? It was July. It wasn't even fucking hockey season. I was coked out of my mind for three days. <laughs> yeah, I, I was watching that. retarded kids run the football back at like University of Nebraska. I was like, this is bullshit. I'm going to the parking lot. <laughs> I went up with a Milek with a blade like that, and I wore an Ottawa Senators jersey. <laughs> Sent you right back. I ran uh, away. He, got, he ended up getting weekends in the penalty box. Yeah. Dude. So you showed up You showed up down at, uh, and in front of, I guess, the management no, office. I was in Wells Fargo parking lot. You are in Wells first Fargo parking lot. I got lot. past the first stage. <laughs> that was back when they didn't have the spikes going in. But out. I found that out the hard way <laughs> when I tried to jump my Dodge Shadow. <laughs> so you stayed up doing coke all night. I did, dude. And then said, it's time to go show these motherfuckers all what Rister night. looks dude, like. This was going on for, this was Sunday morning at like 8 12. I started at Friday, 8 p.m. <laughs> It was good blow, dude. I was cutting <laughs> shit. Not that bullshit you go, you assholes are snorting. You guys don't want to do coke? <laughs> coke gives me the shits. Disgusting. I don't do that stuff. Who else has diarrhea right now? <laughs> yeah. That's your way of asking for coke. <laughs> hey, anyone, anyone's tummy's rumbling? <laughs> I'll be in the toilets. <laughs> Did you really work at Spencer's Gifts? Me? Yeah. No. Oh. You know what's weird? I always assumed Kylo would work at fucking Spencer's Gifts. <laughs> yeah. Kylo! Sh- yeah. Don't say it two more times. She'll appear. She'll come out of the room and <laughs> fuck you up, dude. Who's talking shit? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> I wish you knew. <laughs> she told me the other day, She, I go, what do you want for lunch? I swear to God, she yelled from the room. She goes, ham. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking lost it. I called Shane immediately. I go, ham. He goes, is she just yelling ham now? (laughs) She's good. (laughs) Ham. I was like, you got it, babe. Colin, what was it like going back to the homeland recently? 
It was all right, yeah, but everyone, everyone makes fun. Do they say motherland, homeland? What do you guys call it when you go back to Ireland? Pilgrimage? But, uh, yeah, the, the homeland, the motherland, all, yeah. both, both correct answers. Correct. Yeah, I'll accept them. Sam made me uncomfortable. He chuckled in my ear, and I was like, ooh, I've made a faux pas. No, no, you were great. I just, it was funny how you became Byron Allen. <laughs> So, Cullum, I heard you went home recently. Yeah, I wanted to know. So, specifically, what I wanted to know is like, are Irish dudes down with American retardation? Yeah, they do. Everything. Like, does it translate? Do they get what's yeah, going on? No, you got you guys are like ahead of them. So, the next generation of Irish guys are gonna be all retarded. You guys are leading the way. So, right now, we're going through like a sort of a '90s rock phase. Interesting. Interesting, Whatever. because when you see European tourists in the United States, they're always wearing jeans from 14 years ago. That's that yeah, we just got. And it. they're doing the same thing with retarded racism. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm always going, no, no, it's not racist. It's, it's just retarded. And they go, I, you'll, you'll catch up. You'll catch up. Kali, what level of ra- racism are they at right now? And can you help them get to the next level? <laughs> <laughs> well, we only just got blacks. <laughs> We just got it. It just That's came pretty out. pretty good. Yeah. We only, yeah, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> Make Ireland Great oh, Again. Oh, man, you're only racist. You're, <laughs> My God. I wish I could move to Ireland and just slowly watch the transformation of white guys at bus stops now. <laughs> <laughs> as, you get, as you get more and more black influence in your country, just watching the, the hat brims flatten out on white dudes. It gets closer and closer. Like, yo, she gonna pay for it. <laughs> I'm, but I'm guessing you guys meeting a black guy with an Irish accent must be like the uh, like oh, that would yeah. be quite yeah, a good crazy yeah <laughs> that feels I mean that seems like something in, in like a Christopher Nolan movie to me yeah. where it's like whoa dude I'm missing something about this <laughs> you go no way dude, you're faking you're fake yeah how does that make you feel when you see a black guy with an Irish accent like yeah dude come on that's our thing stop <laughs> I'm like yo <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying like, what I'm saying. Yo, dude, quit, short. quit fucking biting our accent. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever you guys would say. Yeah, call them. How do you feel about black people? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about them like moving into your country and stuff? <laughs> Banging your women. Did you guys used to have nice neighborhoods too? <laughs> <laughs> there has been some crime, but <laughs> I don't want to be the guy. County Harlem, dude. <laughs> yeah. Nah, they're all right. They're all right. Well, I'm sold. I believe. Yeah, that. really. They're good. Is that what he said? Yeah. You're but you know what's funny? The the Asians, right? They've Whoop. been. The, the, yeah. Now we're talking. Is there any here? Probably not. Fuck, shut up. <laughs> uh, the Asians in Ireland they've been they've been in for a while um, and they all run the Chinese takeaways takeaways oh, yeah yeah the takeaways but what they'll, they 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 because they're like third generation Irish they have Irish accents but when they when they work they pretend to be more Asian so would it so, be me so, the yo, so they'll means. answer the phone they're like hey how's it going and then the phone rings and they go hello we are, <laughs> I got the, the Mekong restaurant. Ah, oh, hello. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Turn to train, turn. <laughs> you know what's wild with Asians? My brother used to have a kid who worked for him. He was he was Asian, but he spoke perfect English. His girlfriend was from China. Every time he talked to her on the phone, he'd go, oh, hello. <laughs> I swear to God. I talked about this. Other, I, dude, my brother was like, what just happened? Just code switch. He goes, yeah, she doesn't speak English. He goes, yeah, but you do. <laughs> Column, he goes, sure I dare. One, of the, uh, one of the Irish Asian guys just made the UFC, didn't he? Yeah. Sorry? Conor McEagro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, Rainey. I, I love it. I, I feel like I'm offended. Joke burning off of you for the last 90 seconds. I was levitating. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got the Jimmy leg. Hold on, I'll work it in. I had a similar thing earlier with Black Lights Matter. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't get it in. Dude, it's like when your teacher, you're waiting for him to call on you, and you're just like almost so, pissing yourself yeah. to the point that he's having to say it. Oh, Djibouti! <laughs> Man. Yes. Well. Where's Mike? What's he bumping into right now? <laughs> He's talking to the wall. Oh, he's just God. nagging. He's nagging bitches on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, he's bombed. Are you serious? He's in the bathroom. No, I, I got eyes on Gabe Line, Mike. Look, he thinks it's over. No, my no. it's just begun. He's, he's trying on leather jackets and shit. He, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yo, there's a new blind Mike in town. Dude, I gotta give him an eye patch. <laughs> 
<laughs> Give me your shirt. Dude. Two eye patches. <laughs> like a brat. I have an idea. <laughs> what is What's it? your idea? I, I have an idea for should how we, we rob can... him. No. <laughs> should, should we sniff his, Should we lick his fingers? Should we? Gross. Should we should we all suck Michael? Should we get him a slutty seeing eye dog? Should we all give him head and then have him criticize us after? Yeah. <laughs> Worst head I've had today. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like it, gay blind Mike? This isn't that good. Look at this Pixar looking motherfucker suck dick. <laughs> this is worse than that. Wait, what's your idea? I, I have a I have a plan for gay blind Mike's redemption. Hey, let's oh. hear it. Okay. So remember, okay, do you remember last year, obviously, you cut, you took Lewis's poster, you cut the hole in the mouth, you stuck your wiener through. Sweet. Legend. Highlight of the festival. <laughs> again, again. And they say comedy's dead. Again. <laughs> 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 and again, dude, please, I want to see anonymous meat posted on Twitter. Just give us credit for it. Tim, you know what's crazy? We what? actually have a poster under here. No way. <laughs> One naturally <laughs> fell off the ceiling. I did nothing to do with it. <laughs> what a just world. Me and Tim out there and just I'm not, it. I'm like, not doing it weird. again. I'm not doing it again. That was a one, one, that was a one shot no moment. No way. Gabe Lion Mike. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Oh, <laughs> Gabe Lion Mike, listen. Yeah, go right to the top. Just so you know, same headshot as last year. By Mike. I think we all whistle loud enough. We'll get in here. <laughs> Stomp your feet. <laughs> there, blind Mike, get up here. Get, blind get Mike. up for Blind Mike, he's like, everyone. He's like Mozart. <laughs> look, look, he's coming with their arms crossed like a mean mom. <laughs> Your brother call me first name and middle name. I'm like, damn it. Gay by Mike, listen. Don't that's don't be beneficial. I know you said that your boss is mad at you. Are we? In- Can I plug something real quick? No. Oh my God, oh, dude. dude. Please. This Jesus horse Christ. pussy. <laughs> yeah. This poster's mouth. Yeah, yeah, that. Hell yeah. Can I just want to say, guys, I have a new podcast. It's a gas digital wrap up show called Gas Digital. Now it's me and producer Natalie. Check it out. <coughs> and now I'm gonna stick my dick in a poster. Yeah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> I'm gay blind Mike. I'm not sleeping my dick in the poster. Do 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 do. Can Gabe, you play Rush right now? Gay blind Mike, dude. Tom Sawyer. All right, hey, take that. Let's get some Rush in, dude. Gay blind Mike rules. What you're doing right now is you're saying, I know my boss is mad at me for my horrific display of getting my fucking penis off. You are over 18. But I don't right? care. I'm not afraid. You you are over 18, right? I'm not. You're over 18, right? Yeah. All right. He said it. This isn't. <laughs> Guys, you look put, put, nine, put, motherfucker. Wait, what age are you in blind years? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of blind friends. Have you ever have you ever seen blind people eat nachos? Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst thing Blondes I've ever everywhere. seen. Sam, do they do it with the stick? <laughs> no, no, they do it with their fingers. They're just you're sharing nachos with a bunch of blind people, and they're like, oh, there's the sour cream, there's the guacamole. Yeah, dude, you have to feel oh the salsa, my man. Yeah, so, but they can tell if it's like Rojo or Verde just with their fingers. <laughs> Does he need more? This no, is an ancient, ancient Irish rite of passion right here. By the way, uh, Colm, can you wear my mom's tapestry uh, on stage, please? Don't ruin please? this. Shut up. <laughs> you wear my mom's tapestry. Shut the fuck up, dude. Put your dick in your boss's mouth right now. Shut the fuck up, dude. Put your dick through that poster and lose your job. Become a legend. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Give him the poster. Go on, go on, go on. Sex, you wish you could do Phones this. Phones away. Seriously, hey, I'll hey, fuck you up. Hey, it's it's on. on. If, if, you, Mike, dude. if you see anyone take their phone out, you smack them in the fucking head. All right? Yeah, that's don't on you. Do this. Don't, be don't let anyone fucking that. take their phone yeah, don't out. Don't be What happens in this also, room? Get video, dude. <laughs> <laughs> also, take your phone out. He doesn't know. Sam's under the table. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh man, here it comes. I bet it's huge. <laughs> What a world. The weird thing is Dick has no eyes either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, here you go. I bet his dick looks like one of them worms and tremors, dude. <laughs> <laughs> also horny. Tim, thank you. I thought I was going to have to stand here and hold this by my <laughs> Dude, dude you got to hold his balls, Tim. Tim, put his balls <laughs> in that <laughs> hole. Dad, dad me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> <laughs> legend. Mike, Mike, Absolute Mike, legend. Mike, 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 Mike,
Yo, I'll eat pussy. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> also, congratulations on losing your virginity and your job. <laughs> I filmed the fuck out of that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to write the little footage. Yes, dude, right on my phone is fine. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody give it up for Bye, fucking Mike. blind Mike. See that retarded people can get wishes that don't evolve Chris Benoit. Same time. <laughs> Sideways? That's why I got into Maybe stand-up. Well, technically, that. that's Listen, how the special went. Hold on start. a second. <laughs> Mike, are you still here? <laughs> Listen, he it's, it. it's occurring to me that Lewis has two mouths on this poster. Yeah, put your dick in it. Put your balls through his mouth. I think Mike, Mike bring your other dick up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get your seeing dick up here. <laughs> <laughs> his dog's dick. <laughs> Look, I don't <laughs> here, I'll cut it. <laughs> That's why he did Fallon. That's that kind of stuff. Collie credits. Hollywood. He never mentioned Ireland. Hollywood. Oh, no. All right, so what do we do? Do we have you guys go st- side by side? Do we fold it so that you're both kind of getting your dick sucked by Lewis and you're facing each other? <laughs> also, this is like one of those pictures on the boardwalk. <laughs> I think we do it this way. Tiny, your dick's through Lewis's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> tip to tip. Everybody's. T- oh my god. Yeah, dude. Put the Wait, what? Call him, how would, like, call him, how would you? How would you prefer to do double Lewis dicks? Well, sideways is weird. It's like that, like emoji. Where it's, uh. Yeah, but then here's the thing: is if we do take. High and low. Ooh. What? Yeah. High and low. Okay, so what am I, what am I not to do? A hand Mike, Michael, get on my shoulders. So yeah. you can get the top one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you're dick. <laughs> oh my god. I think also, so. good cut job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, so yeah. to beat the Wait, high low on. idea, so let's go. If you guys that. did side by side, over I the think. Wall, like his people. Mike, stand on the table. We got oh. another tip to tip. Shoulders. Whoa, you almost put your tongue through the part that he had his dick on. Dude. Smell- <laughs> smells like yeah. fucking virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Blind Mike should put his asshole through that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, let's do this side by side and take and, and take this to a new level. Do you think side double dick? I think l- double dog dick. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And then I think what we do is we do actually get a picture of it and then we animate it so that it's spinning like the Batman. Oh, is that kid in here? Wheel of Fortune. And it's just helicoptering <laughs> birds. <laughs> Welcome to the birds. <laughs> Fill her up. <laughs> Blind Mike, yes. Blind Mike Thank get you. up here, Blind Mike. Blind Mike, get your balls and dick out. You blind idiot. Wow, man. You guys got on airplanes to be here. <laughs> wait, wait, which one was it? <laughs> oh, man. It's Whoa. Oh. Man, have Whoa. you guys ever seen two dicks before? He hasn't. <laughs> wow. He hasn't seen one. Call him spot. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Why <laughs> <laughs> <Lord>, the skank fest? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Yes, dude. You were making love to Lewis's mouth. Yes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that me. That's God, that was the fucking best. I'm going to walk up. I love how Mike jerks off like he's hitting a guitar solo. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you guys are Colin Terrell, Brian Six, Gay Blind Mike. Sam, thank you. Yeah. Motherfucking Sam talent. Thank you, guys. This is this is a beautiful community you guys have built, and I appreciate you having me. Thank you. You're the fucking man. You're the best. Listen, before we go, we have to be fucking gay as shit with you guys. I just want to let you know, this means the world to us that you guys come here and watch us be fat, gay, and retarded. Yeah. There's nothing better than this shit. We love you guys. Um, We hope you all get pussy this weekend. And uh, feel free to suck each other off. Love you guys. Thanks for everything.